Good to see you again. How you doing? Good. How Happy are you? New Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? We're here in Las Hi Vegas, uh, and uh, it's uh, pretty crazy out here, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, packed actually. It's, it's even stuff. better better than last year. Yeah. So, Seriously. Uh, yeah, yeah, and last year was very good. So, yeah. Uh, so how are you? you? <laughs> good, thanks. Yeah, it's day three here, and day um, three. Yeah. and we're going strong. We've had a lot of great guests, and uh, we've had some startups on. Um, we have um, actually a couple companies on uh, from Israel today, uh, Exana, and uh, and we got a company later on, an insurance company in Israel. Just got on the schedule. I'm not familiar with those guys. Oh, we're okay. going to talk to them. But um, so last year we talked about Israel, the hotbed of innovation, and. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 uh, Alex Winnicore, your CTO, was on yeah. with us, and we had a great discussion around that. And since then, I've really, I've studied a little bit, you know, why Israel is is such a hotbed, and and the Massachusetts connection has been pretty interesting. So, so uh, first of all, you know, uh, welcome, Thank great you. to have you Thank back. Thank you. Same and, here. Uh, Glad and, to be here. And uh, Exana, um, let me set it up. So Exana is uh, a company that got into the business to to provide um, zero data loss solutions, uh, and you found that you could actually do that at asynchronous distance, which is yeah. uh, was new, right? Everybody needed either synchronous, which creates a problem, because if stuff is too close together, then you're not protected, because if you have a disaster, everything can get wiped out, or you, so you put things asynchronously, but then it's too far apart and too slow because of the speed of light problem, so you need very complicated and expensive infrastructure like three site data centers and so you guys just simplified that whole thing with a, an airplane black box metaphor we've talked about yeah. that a lot um, and you've been making a lot of progress so yes, give us an update on yeah. where you're at I want to talk about Israel what's happening over there <laughs> in startup land where we're at the, in Israel that's interesting but start with Exana what's new what's happening here at the show what are you guys focused on these days so uh, so yes what we, we're kind of like in between evolution and revolution we're uh, we're raising the flag of, uh, of synchronous replication, zero data loss for everyone. Why, uh, you know, cut, cutting the strings? Uh -huh. why, uh, why settle, why have an acceptable risk? You, you used to have an acceptable risk because of cost, because of distances. And what we're saying is not anymore. We're basically saying you can do the infrastructure of asynchronous, you can do IP lines, you can go wherever you want. And you know what, black box or not black box, I always say it could be a pigeon inside. Basically, we have a system that uh, augments, uh, you know, on this show it augments uh, RecoverPoint from EMC. RecoverPoint is doing excellent in the market. It's, it's progressing like crazy. We're very happy about that because that's, uh, we actually can't influence that. I think we actually can, you know yeah. what? But, uh, yeah, we had Rick Walsworth hopefully we can. on earlier. Rick was... Uh, talking about recover point yeah, and some yeah. of its progress Rick is a, and a good friend and, an and, excellent, and their relationship uh, to the cloud <laughs> and they're really positioning strongly yeah. for the cloud you know yeah and, and actually by the way if you, if you look at what we do for the cloud because you're basically cutting the strings of, of distance you can actually uh, do any distance uh, take a cloud service provider um, whether they are the DR or whether the, they are the uh, the primary uh, before they'd have to spend a lot of money in putting a data center in every metro area, every area that they wanted to protect because people wanted to do uh, synchronous and, and uh, you know, get the, the right protection. Uh, what we've done is basically, again, enable them to uh, not to be in every metro area, so spend much less money on the data centers, much less money on, on operational and capital uh, expenditure, and, and do from one location, do a whole country, do everything, the whole entire area, so they have and, and when they did the pockets, they couldn't serve everyone. Just, you know, 45 miles or 60 miles of pockets of, uh, of uh, synchronous. With Oksana now, uh, they can do an entire country, like the U.S., from two data centers, from one data center. Spending much less money on their data centers, much less money on communication, and having much more revenue for customers that couldn't be served before. So that's talking uh, big numbers, right? To build, yeah, a, what's yeah. the cost to build a data center? I mean, that's just the that's in the yeah. millions, as you know. It's in the you millions, know, right? Uh, millions annually, I think. Yeah, so, and, uh, the and of course, cloud services. Is, yeah. It's all about data centers, right? Right. So, right. so the timing's good. Timing's perfect. Um, actually, that's good. So, um, so what's the what's the reception been? I mean, last year, I know you were very excited to be at. Yeah. It was your first EMC World. I know a, you got a lot of interest at your. Your booth. What's it been like this year? This seems to be a bigger, even bigger show. Yeah, so there's a bigger show. There's a bigger attendance in the booth. Um, we, we we are 
on EMC Select. When you are on EMC Select, what you do is you basically spend a lot of time on educating the, the EMC field. Uh, and this is where we focus right now. We basically have people on the ground. You know, I think we were uh, just starting sales. We had two people in sales. Now we have five. Again, this is uh, this is startup angle. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, not yeah, yeah, about, yeah. I'm not talking about a thousand people. Uh, so but, we uh, love startups. So. <laughs> yeah, and five people in sales. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, but we're talking about expanding now. You know, pe pe people on the ground in Europe, people on the ground in the U.S. And what they're doing is actually delivering the message with the help of EMC Select, with the, with the help of the Select team, you know, with the road shows that they have, spending a lot of time, effort, focus on the EMC field, on the EMC core people, on the specialists, and basically getting the message out. They get the message, A, they love it, they see it as mainstream, they see it as something that goes together with their products, and basically they now you know, do the account mapping with us, and, and you know, I have a customer that can really use that. I have, I have another media company that, that wants that because, because they, they have data centers in, in, uh, you know, in New York and in Chicago, so uh, they really don't have a solution. So until you came, I, you know, there's the, there's, we could do async, now we can do sync. So what we're doing, what our people are doing is basically um, going to them, educating them, going to the customers and we're getting great reaction, great response from the market at this point. Yeah, and I mean, you're talking about a pretty serious um, capability. This is the crown jewels of an organization, right? I mean, that they're trying to protect. So having a partnership with EMC is, is critical. Yeah, yeah. Um, And that's really where most of your focus has been. What can you tell us, and I know you, know, you, you haven't made any announcements uh, outside of the EMC base. What can you tell us about other areas? Is it, is it primarily the focus is on EMC right now, getting that traction, you've spart up, you've got to be focused. Um, can you tell us anything about other companies? What, what's the, what's the, the public line on that? I'll say this. Um, the focus is EMC, okay? The focus is EMC. The focus is helping EMC, helping their customers reach what they want to do. Mm. Um, in the DNA of the company, strategy of the company, I would say this. Uh, this is not something that, and again, I don't want to sound too presumptuous. I don't want to sound arrogant about that. But this is not a technology that 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 that, um, that wants to be with one uh, infrastructure. So this it doesn't is, have to be confined. This is a technology that wants to be yeah. a layer in data protection. Yeah. It wants to be in replication. It wants to be in other areas of data protection. Uh, again, today, data protection, anything to do with data protection means that the data on the primary has to be out before it's protected. Oksana changes that very you know, little thing that's so profound that some of the data can be protected through a disaster, while a disaster. And, and, and the secret sauce is not all the data because then it's a bunker, it's very expensive, it's cut from communication. When you have a disaster, it has to be just that lag, just a little bit of delta. It doesn't want to be with only one infrastructure. So our job, you know, the family of Aksana, is to make sure that it becomes a layer in data protection. Yeah, so this is an important point. So this is, a lot of people don't understand this. When you have this data centers at a distance, the reason why you can't get no data loss is because there's just a little bit of data that's out of sync. And if yeah. you lose, you know, if you're a financial services company and you lose just a couple of zeros, that could be a problem. So, so you guys essentially have solved that problem by, by protecting that little amount of data and buying the time so that the, the you can catch up with the network, right, and the latencies. True. So that that little 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 quote unquote data uh, could be fifty megs, a hundred megs, half a gig, even two gigs. So, but it's not petabytes. It's not right. petabytes. No, it's not terabytes. It's not. Right. It's not. By the way, it will become tens of gigs, hundreds of gigs when you have a link failure. What we do with our with our device with our system is that. When the replication system knows that it has a link failure, you basically have to stop production, but nobody does that because production is more important than DR. Yeah. So we keep that data in the box, you know, in the device, which is disaster proof. So you're, you have now the, the relaxation, that's our theme in the booth, is that you can actually relax while we take care of business and our box makes sure Are you sure guys doing the back rubs? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> For you, my friend, I will. So, uh, uh, but, but this is basically essentially what we, uh, what we allow them to do is protect it against link failure. Another thing that we do, which is very important, and another thing, actually we found that out, we didn't know that. When you're measuring replication, your challenge now is bandwidth. Because you're paying a lot of money for the bandwidth. You know, you had pricing issues, you had terabytes issues for the replication, not anymore. You know, it's a one size fits all, you buy a system. 
Now you hit the next wall, which is the bandwidth. So why do you need a high bandwidth? Because you have peaks and high loads and valleys and all that. It's not just all average. So you, know, you would have to measure your replication bandwidth to the highest peak because you don't want data to be stuck and be accumulated. There's a way over buying in that case. Now, yeah. when you have a high load and you have the disaster while you have a high load, that's going to kill you because now you're losing tens of gigs or if not hundreds because it's accumulating. What Oxana does is basically keep that, keeps that, enables you to buy average line communication, not peak, save you every month. It basically pays for itself. Yeah, okay. And the data is protected. So, Ellie, we have a large audience. We have about 25, yeah. 2,600 people watching. And I want to come back to that, but I want to talk a little bit about, about Israel. I want to talk about startups. Jo John and I have been talking about startups a lot. You know, John's in Silicon Valley. Hi. And, uh, and Israel is a, is a hotbed of startups. You've, you started Exana, let's see, a few years ago now? Is that yeah. right? Three years 07. ago? 07. Mm -hmm. um, it took us see. a lot of time to build and integrate with EMC. Yeah, building and integrating, but you raised money, right? So take us back. You know, how'd you get started? Be, entrepreneurs want to know, you know, aspiring entrepreneurs want to go, yeah. how do you get started and, and, and what's, the what's the climate like in Israel? So, so first of all, it changes all the time. It's, uh, it's never a dull moment. Yeah. Think about a startup as a, uh, as a little walnut shell. You're on it and you're in the perfect storm. <laughs> that, that's, that's our life. Um, and by the way, you say how we started it. I always... I, I, I joke, but I'm serious. Uh, you know, say, when, when, when we go together, Alex and myself, we're co-founders of the company. So, uh, so I basically say, I'm Alex's co-founder. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. Because, uh, listen, the guy behind the technology, the, the brain, the, Can't the, do it without the soul, it. Right. Yeah. Is, uh, is Alex Winokur, you know, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Alex Winokur. And, uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. How you doing? Stig, thanks for coming by. We got the Stig, quick appearance. That was great. And on my time, I'm so happy. Stig, yeah, I'm Stig. Thrilled. <laughs> Thank you. Was, um, was that Joe uh, under there? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Alex, Alex. Uh, you had that notion of, of that challenge. It, it, you know, that's why I'm saying it's revolution, evolution, because it's not new. People had that problem of sync and async, speed of light, nobody could solve it. There had to be technology to come up, has emerged, has nothing to do with Oxana, and that's flash disks. And we have to have a speedy one, we have to have resilient one, the, the cost can't be, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. It has to be, and that's, we're using right now Estec, uh, the Zeus IOPS. Yeah, yeah. And this is a disk that will be resilient enough to, to be in that yeah, box. That's everywhere so, in the enterprise. And, and it had nothing like, to do with Oxana. Yeah. But you got to have flash disk inside, otherwise it will be... So the, you the saw crumbling. these trends coming together, and that's so, really... So, so this is in. one, and the 3G communication is the other. Yeah. Alex saw this happening, basically patented this, you know, and, and, uh, and, and very, uh, very conceptually. And, um, and this is where we started. This is where we started from this, this one very good idea. But as opposed to, to, you know, the startups that I did before, where you go and develop and everything, we spent almost 18 months of, of, on our own money of market validation because we wanted to know that this is a killer application, yeah. killer product. Uh, that's what happens to you after you've done, uh, you know, two or three. Yeah, so... so uh, that's good. Well, congratulations. And of course, be just a quick sideline is uh, Moshe is an investor of the company. Moshe, Moshe and I. is an investor. Moshe yeah. joined our, our, Moshe and I, of course, joined yeah. our board of directors yeah. in January. Uh, that's a thrill. The father that's, of uh, Symmetrics. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Really Appreciate excited. it. Thanks yeah. for, Thanks for, thanks for coming to in. be here. Thank Sharing you very with much. Us, uh, Eli another Efrat. Israeli uh, company we're going to talk to. They want to talk to you. <laughs> before they come on because they're an unscheduled flyby. Look at the Israeli forces coming at us right now. So so they want to talk to you for one minute. All right, so you, you and carry on. you're going to interview them. They're going to do a demo. I'm going to do a quick review of the Google News from Google Chromebook. Okay, do that. And I'll you be get right your one-minute briefing. Come back, right. and I'll take it from there. Okay, Eli Efra, thanks Excellent. very much for coming on theCUBE. CEO Thank of Exana. Hot company. Pay attention to them. Going to go go do great, great, get the great things. David Floyer's uh, CTO award pick of uh, two years ago. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. All right.